But you see, what was the attitude of Rome to this? Well, Pope Leo didn't want a ecumenical council. Now, Marcion, as I said to you, the politics in this, he, he wanted the Pope's support in obtaining recognition from the Western Emperor. And, um, and so he got, as soon as he became Emperor, a uh, meeting of bishops in Constantinople, one in Antioch, and they, and they all, you know, approved Leo's tome. And that's what Leo wanted, the tome to be approved. That He didn't want a council. He thought, oh my gosh, once we have a council, Lord knows what will happen. And of course, he was absolutely definite that his word on this was, was totally authoritative. He did not think that his uh, teaching, that it gained anything in authority by being approved by an ecumenical council. I mean, this, this was a very strong papal claim had developed by his time that the... Um, uh, let's not introduce words of infallibility, which are not, which are, uh, weren't used, but the sense that the, uh, the, the Pope can speak for Christ um, when he makes a, a, a formal statement, uh, it, it, this, this has uh, authority. This um, was still already part of the you know, papal, papal claims. And it's striking that, you know, 553, if I just move on to the Second Council of Constantinople, now there was Pope Vigilius in Constantinople, but he refused to attend uh, this council. And uh, afterwards, immense pressure was placed on him by the Emperor Justinian to yield and to approve the decisions of the council. What Vigilius did was that he issued a document expressing the same views as those approved in the council, but without mentioning the council. Again, he was making the point, it is the Pope's voice that is the, the most decisive thing. I mean, this, yes. is, this, is, this is an awkwardness. In, I, I remember hearing about a meeting, an uh, ecumenical meeting between high representatives of the Vatican and representatives of, of the um, uh, ecumenical patriarch held in Cyprus. And um, then uh, Cardinal Ratzinger proposed that uh, they should agree to consider, you know, what was what the what popes, you know, what was the role of the pope in the church in the first millennium? Well, the fact is, it times varied, but already in the time in the fifth, already in the time of Leo, popes are making claims which, by Eastern standards, are simply exaggerated. Mm -hmm.